ESPN put out their list, and of course, you know, like any list, uh, guys, it's supposed to get people to talk and get people to pay attention and click and seek out their content, and some people were left off, and some people were on it that people shouldn't have. So we looked at this list and said, let's do our own. Let's do our own list. <laughs> let's do our own list. We don't need an ESPN list. Yeah, we don't need an ESPN list. Like, come list. on now. You don't like, need no yeah, stinking list. No list. I make lists every day, list. son. All right, list. Ben, kick it off. Well, what do we got? Your list. Top right. 10 QBs heading into this year NFL season. Top 10 quarterbacks heading into the 2022 NFL season. At number 10, he plays quarterback for my friend TJ Jefferson's favorite football Ooh. team. His name is Dak Prescott, who I believe is currently shopping at Nordstrom's for gifts for his offensive linemen. <laughs> at number nine, he's on the team that I believe Rich Eisen thinks is going to the championship game. That is the... Las Vegas Raiders. I'm going Derek Carr at number nine. At number eight, he was in the Super Bowl last year. Joe Cool, Joe Burrow. I love Russell Wilson in Denver. I think it's going to be a challenge for the Broncos, but Russ is going to cook and let Russ eat. Justin Herbert is the second best quarterback in SoFi because Matthew Stafford is going to have a career year leading the Rams to their second Super Bowl in as many years. Number four is Aaron Rodgers on the Mount Rushmore because if you look at the top four, which I guarantee you will be the top four for these other two gentlemen here today. I put Rodgers fourth because to me, he's the least reliable, least dependable. He lost a championship game at home to Tom Brady. I don't know what his vaccination status is. I don't know what's going on with his emotional status. His, he just, Aaron Rodgers is too much. And I think it bleeds into the to the rest of uh, uh, the team. And that's why they haven't gone back to the Super Bowl. So I go with Mahomes, Brady in front of Rodgers. And the best quarterback in the NFL is Josh Allen. He's like a video game where you create a player and make all their attributes 99 just to see if you can run up all the stats. That's what Josh Allen is, and I think the Bills are going to have a tremendous year because I am Captain Obvious. This is a great list. Uh, Derek Carr, eh, maybe a little high. A little high for Higher me. than nine? And yeah, Russell Wilson, maybe a little high. Maybe a little high for me either. So you really? left out. I left out left Kyler out Murray. Kyler Murray, Lamar Jackson, which uh, everyone was kind of putting a stink in about yeah. the uh, ESPN list. Yeah, availability, uh, also a thing for me. Who else did you leave out? It's kind of it, um, right? I mean, Matt Ryan, Kirk yeah, Cousins. Yeah, Matt Ryan, Kirk Cousins. My man Jimmy G. I know he's super handsome. He took those Niners to the NFC West, but he's he doesn't have a handsome. home right now, and he's not going to get any – he's not moving – he's not taking anybody off the list. No uh, no Trey Lance, no uh, – the, the tough one was Lamar. And, and and obviously he's such a special talent and a former MVP and all those things and he probably should be on that list now that I look at it but um, contract up in the air um, availability issues getting hurt uh, can I count on him moving forward and it's not a knock on his skill set he's got it but I, I don't know who I take off all right let's get let's do my list because my list is just oh my god top oh my 10 gosh. quarterbacks here we go heading into 2022 so for the 2022 season uh tj number 10 you've heard of this guy he's awesome his name's mac jones <laughs> oh no <laughs> okay. love it. we're talking about heading into the season okay who was the best rookie quarterback of 2021 mac jones his name's mac jones have you seen some of uh the pictures that his girlfriend has been posting on Instagram. No, I don't, I don't follow her. No. He is I don't follow strange women on the internet. absolutely jacked. <laughs> he's yoked. All the reports out of New I think Mac Jones, sleeper oh, he's MVP. He's been working out at that gym, right? That gym that's the like gym, The yeah. gym. The, the off-season off workout, off yes. workout gym. Mac Jones, sleeper MVP heading into 2022. I, I do have Lamar Jackson on my list. I think he's number nine. Uh, like you said, availability is important for Lamar. Also, motivation is important, too. I think this guy is, wants to get paid a lot, a lot of money. Uh, he deserves it. Uh, he was an MVP candidate. He's won it already. He was an MVP candidate last year before he got injured. Uh, I think he's he's a really special player. Not sure if it translates to playoff, you know, playoff success, but he's a really, really good player and dynamic. I think he deserves to be in the top ten. I think Dak Prescott, I said it yesterday, I think he's going to have a really good season as well. I really like Dak. He's in the best shape of his life. He also went to that gym, and I think he deserves to be in the top 10. Aaron Rodgers deserves to be in it, on this list, obviously, because of how amazing he is. He's won back-to-back -back MVPs. He's got a new, his new tattoo, which is cool. I just don't know who his teammates are. And so his talent can elevate everyone, like we've seen TJ throughout the years, but... I don't know. He's a little bit older. He's 38, 39, and, and I'm not sure who he's throwing the ball to, but he obviously deserves to be on this list. 
So does Patrick Mahomes, who's awesome. But, like, you know, kind of like with Aaron Rodgers, I want to see how Mahomes looks without Tyree Kill. Well, it's a second act. Let's let's remix this and see if he can do it with a whole new cast of characters. Yeah, exactly. And so I'm interested to see what that looks like, which is why I just have him a little bit a little bit lower. So much winning in his career, though. I mean, every game is a big game, and it's just every year they're yeah, right I, there. One of the most special players and talents we've ever seen. I mean, I think he's probably going to be on Mount Rushmore when it's all said and done. Uh, Joe Burrow, he's awesome. What he did last season speaks for itself. Another year removed from that ACL injury. He's going to be even better this year. Matthew Stafford won the Super Bowl last year. He led the league in touchdowns. He's phenomenal as well. He's going to cut down in the interceptions. He's going to be even better this year. I think Justin Herbert might win MVP. It's either going to be between him and Josh Allen, uh, probably for MVP this season, which is why those guys are two and three. And uh, no list can have a number one spot without Tom Brady on it. So Tom Brady's number one heading into the year, TJ. All right, well, I'm going to make this quick. I don't really want to add too much because you guys have pretty much done a great job knocking this list out. So I'll quickly go at number Mac, 10. Mac Jones is number one for you. Well, I, That is yeah. where we differ. Uh, <laughs> shout out. But I, first and foremost, I respect you so much for putting him on there. And I may have respected you less had you not. So you're Thank lucky you. you did. Thank you. But for me, I got Derek Carr in at number 10 on the list. I've got Dakota Rain Prescott, my guy Dak at nine. Uh, Russell Wilson, I have him at seven. I got Herbie, Justin Herbert at I'm Russ Wilson at eight. I'm sorry. Justin Herbert at seven. Joe Burrow at six. I got Lamar Jackson at five. I know people are, you know, questioning Lamar. He had one four interception game last year against Cleveland. That was really bad. But you take that away. I, I just have a real feeling that Lamar Jackson is going to ball out this year. And um, I'm going to stand with that. I have him at number five. And number four, for the same reasons you guys listed, I have Mahomes. The talent is there. We just got to see how he works without Tyreek. Aaron Rodgers, the same thing. Aaron Rodgers makes throws, guys, that I've never seen another quarterback make, quite frankly. But, you know, we'll see how he does without Devontae. Then you got Josh Allen. He's just, he's 2.0. You know how they say things are 2.0? I think Josh Allen's 3.0. He arm is big. I think Josh Allen is going to have a huge, huge year. And he probably would have been number one, save for the fact that Thomas Edward Brady should have been MVP last year, in my opinion. Uh, He's losing Gronk. That's going to hurt. But this isn't the Gronk of 10 years ago. I think this Gronk was more of a security blanket, like Franklin's blanket with with peanuts. I think Mike Evans, when Godwin comes back, I, I think Tom Brady, until he starts to decline, which I think will probably happen around age 52 <laughs> he's the man and that's why i've got him at number one on my quarterback list strong list fellas strong i list. think there's lots to debate here we don't need the espn list we got our own list um you know i don't have lamar jackson you've got mac jones and you don't have the guy who just won a super bowl so we've all got something to talk about here this is why we oh, all yeah, make different true. lists no matthew stafford and you know huh? what yeah, a super bowl doesn't catch you into tj's club and you know what it was i had uh full disclosure i had two lists I had him on the one. I sent the one in and then didn't realize until the list popped up. So. <laughs> you think we need one more? I, <laughs> All right, we'll get one more. Uh, and, I, and here's the deal. I I had, this is what I was talking about before. <laughs> top, on a top five list, <laughs> TJ has eight. No, no. It was, I mean, I, I, wrote, I wrote the list yesterday when we said we we're going to make a list. Yeah. And then last night when I got home, I sat down and was like, oh, from memory, I'll rewrite this list out. I didn't realize I had Stafford in my original list. And when I rewrote it, there was Russell Wilson. If so, TJ was Casey you know. Case, maybe America's top 80. <laughs> I'm not, but see, I'm not adding anyone. I'm telling you, I submitted America. the wrong 10. Oh, I'm not yeah. saying I want 11 guys. I don't know how Rich does it, guys. The simple homework of make a list of your top 10 quarterbacks, it turns into a whole thing. This it's not a the thing. Best. I had wrote it down and I then know, I forgot great. Matthew oh, Stafford. Oh hey, Very are simply. Gonna, are we going to keep this going? Should we do running backs? Let's do tomorrow running backs tomorrow. And then wide receivers and, then wide receivers on, and tight ends. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think, uh, I, I think it would be a challenge to come up with 10 running backs that we all think are worthy of being in the top 10. I don't think. Chris thinks that. I don't. I think we can do it. But yeah, let's continue this on with the skill Or we can take someone else's list, Ben. Would you rather? No, no, no. I I like like doing our own list. (laughs) And then maybe what? And then on Friday, we can do top 10 teams? Like a Del Tufo Ah, list has like a Sonny Jorgensen shout out. Because quite frankly, we're not going to do top 10 inside linebackers because that's we're not all 22 guys. Running backs tomorrow. Top 10 running backs tomorrow. Okay, we'll do that. Heading into the season.